he caused the grass to grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man, that they may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that make it glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which he had planted, where the birds make their nets, as for the stork, the field trees are her house. The high hills are refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness and its night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after they pray, and seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together, and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. All is clear, all is anti-evolutionary. The Bible gives good credit, God credit, for the following things. Quenching the thirst of birds and mammals. Verses 11 and 12. The, produ the production of apples, oranges, pears, tangerines, satsumas, grapefruit, avocados, cherries, bananas, mangoes, figs, and beaches. Verse, th verse 13. Spices, wet corn, oats, rice, barley, potatoes, carrots, okra, broccoli, asparagus, rye, tomatoes, celery, Brussels sprouts, lettuce, cabbage, peas, and beans. Verse 14. The time set up daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Verse 19. Night and day. Verse 20. The growth of cedars, pine trees, box trees, fir trees, elms, oaks, ashes, poplars, birch trees, redwoods, dogwoods, maples, tamarisks, bamboo, and aspens. Verse 16. The animals know where they sustenance comes from, if man doesn't. It's the hearts of the children of men and hell and destruction. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 11. That are never satisfied. The earth is satisfied, verse 13, although this full satisfaction will not be complete until Romans chapter 8 and verse 19 and Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 to 11. The faces of Stephen and Moses literally shine, verse 15, when the oil of the Holy Spirit, see John chapter 3, verse 34, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9, anoints them. Exodus chapter 34, verse 29, and Acts chapter 6, verse 15. Devotionally speaking, the wine, verse 15, pictures the blood of Christ, see John chapter 2, verses 3 to 4 and Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 14. This is what fixes the heart. The oil is obviously a type of the Holy Spirit, and the bread is easy to locate. Luke chapter 4, verse 4, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 2, and verses 10 to 11, and Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verses 1 to 6. Verses 16, 17, and 18 are simple statements of fact. The conies in verse 18 cause some grief among the educated class, whose refined sensibilities make them correct the Bible every time they don't like it. They don't like it here. The conies are from Leviticus chapter 11, verse 5, and Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 7. A cony, according to Webster, is a rabbit, a quadruped of the Genus lupus, which has a short tail and naked ears. In a wild state, the fur is brown, but the color, color of the domestic rabbit is various. Put it this way, it's a coney, and these, verse 18, are conies. The sun knoweth his going down, verse 19. The sun, like all the planets, knows its function. The psalmist uses sunrise and sunset exactly as they are used in every 
daily newspaper. It goes down from the human standpoint and it knows when to go down. Jesus is the bright and morning star, Revelation chapter 22 verse 16, and the day spring from on high, Luke chapter 1 verse 78. So he knows he's going down, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 9, Acts chapter 2 verse 27, and he's rising, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 9. God makes darkness, verse 20, by letting the globe spin at the proper rate. The lion is picked because he is the king of the beasts, and pictures both Jesus Christ, Revelation chapter 5 verse 5, and the devil, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. Which one is your lion in your life? The Lord Jesus Christ or the father, the devil? The answer is simple and thus salvation comes from above, so called. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen.